Hey guys, it's Danny and welcome to another video and I'm here with updates on the Atlantic. We have two tropical cyclones to be looking at. Tropical Storm Karen, very weak right now, and the great and powerful Hurricane Lorenzo. But before I go into details, please take a second or two to tap that subscribe button if you haven't. We are on the road to 1K and you can also tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video and you don't miss a thing on what's taking place in the Atlantic. Okay, let us start off with the weak and defeated Karen. So currently Karen is a weak tropical storm with winds of 45 miles per hour and it is also moving to the north northeast at 12 miles per hour and of course the acceleration is expected to increase as we go throughout the rest of this week and into early next week. And we see that it is expected to become post tropical probably before Sunday, probably Saturday evening or early Sunday morning. It is expected to become post tropical and then probably dissipates after monday so that is some good news for the bahamas and the southeastern united states so fortunately the system is expected to die up before it even nears those land masses so we don't have anything much else to say on karen right now but something quite spicy is going on in the central atlantic at this time here we have the deadly and catastrophic hurricane lorenzo powerful category 4 hurricane with winds of 140 miles per hour moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour so it is expected to keep its major hurricane status at least through sunday and afterwards it is expected to be downgraded back to a hurricane because it is going to increase in latitude and the higher up these storms go the cooler waters that they will encounter will help to promote weakening for the tropical cyclone so that is some really good news and it also broke a record actually this is one of the handful of tropical sto storms or well hurricanes that actually make it to such a devastating intensity in the central atlantic so it is one of those deadly central atlantic storms fortunately no land areas are going to be affected but the azores need to pay close attention to this because probably about the midweek it might affect those tiny islands that small archipelago right there might be affected by lorenzo so aside from karen and lorenzo there is nothing else going on in the atlantic at this time things seem pretty quiet so fortunately no disturbances out there probably a wave or two and we're seeing that activity starting to die down a bit but it can come back up at any time so we just have to keep staying alert and just keep on see what is taking place out there in the tropics so guys if you found this video pretty informative please leave a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comment section below or ask a question i will try to respond as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep giving updates on the tropics